Today we're going to be talking about math. Yes, math. Nothing too complicated, just addition and maybe a little bit of multiplication. But why, I hear you ask? Excellent question. To be honest, if all you're doing is building, say, a wall out of Lego bricks, you probably don't need to worry about any of this. But suppose you want to be able to do this. Then things get a bit more complicated. Why does this work? The answer is math, specifically the ratio between a brick's width and its height. A ratio is a numerical relationship between one number and another number. For example, say I have one red brick and two yellow bricks. The ratio of red to yellow is one to two. Okay, but what if I get one more red brick and two more yellow bricks? The ratio is still one to two. For every one red brick, there are two yellow bricks. Now let's take a close look at a single one by one Lego brick. You've probably noticed that the height of the brick isn't the same as its width. In other words, it's not a perfect cube, although some days I wish it were. The good news is the width and height are related by a ratio. Five to six. But I hear you asking, five to six what? Inches? Millimeters? Well, the truth is that this distance doesn't really have a unit associated with it. So we'll call it a notch. This so-called notch is, in my opinion, the fundamental unit of the entire Lego building system we all grew up with. Everything can be broken down into a certain number of notches. The height of a plate? Two notches. The length of a 2x4 brick? 20 notches. This can be a hard concept to grasp at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll realize that this knowledge is incredibly useful when building with Lego. Let's start with a simple problem. How many bricks laid on their side are equal to six bricks facing upright? We know each of these is five notches long, and five times six is 30. We also know that the height of a brick is six notches, so we should only need five of them to get the same length of 30. Let's see if we're right. And there's your proof. As a more complicated example, let's compare these two pieces. They are very similar, and perhaps you use them interchangeably, but there is a big difference. The side stud of the red version is slightly recessed, while the side stud of the yellow version is not. Now watch what happens when I try using these pieces to attach a sideways brick to a base plate. Notice the red version can attach to the base plate while the yellow one cannot. We can better understand this using the idea of a notch. Looking at this arrangement, you'll notice that the recess in the side makes this piece thinner than a typical brick, only four notches wide. The side of the brick, as we already know, is six notches long. Together, they are ten notches long, equivalent to two bricks side by side. On the other hand, the yellow piece doesn't have a recess, and therefore the total length is eleven notches. Eleven isn't evenly divisible by five, so we know this won't attach to a base plate. There are limitless applications of this measuring system for LEGO users. If you want to build something very complex, you'll have a much easier time if you think in terms of notches. This knowledge was especially helpful when I designed my LEGO Dragon, a creation that has studs facing in quite a few different directions. Also, for brick filmers, this can be very useful when you're working on more complicated set pieces. I could go on, but instead I'll let you figure the rest out on your own. Play around with it, see what you can create using this idea, and of course if you have any questions please ask down in the comments. I think that's enough math for today. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything in a while, I know it's been about three or four months since my last video, and I will try to avoid taking such a long gap in the future. It's just the semester started, and I got busy with my engineering work, and, um, you know, I don't have time to make regular, like, weekly content or anything, but, um, it's been a while, I understand that, and, um, I'm sorry, uh, my next video that you can look forward to will probably arrive around the holidays, and no, not turkey time, we're talking Christmas and New Year's, I'll probably... Uh, pull together a second teaser trailer for the adventures of Tyler and Henry. 
uh, episode two, I should say. And um, then beyond that, I really haven't planned anything out. So um, yeah, I'm sorry I don't have a lot to show you right now. I do have a screenshot to leave you with. So um, you know, hang in there just a few more months and you'll get another trailer at least. And then after that, who knows? So again, thank you for your endless patience and thanks for watching.